Hey guys, it's Dylan. Hi, it's Arielle. And today, we're back. <laughs> I've been my tongue. Okay, we're back with another video. We're back again with another and video. And this week is it's Valentine's Day. I think it was Tuesday. Yeah. I wouldn't, or Wednesday. Uh, I don't remember. I don't know what day it was, I don't but. Keep track because I'm single. Yay. <laughs> This video is for about Valentine's, Valentine's day. day. It's a Valentine's Day Q and A. Yeah. The first question is gonna be, what is Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day is a day where people get to love. You. Okay, people love each other either way, but Valentine's Day is where people like show their love for their for other people, not necessarily a boyfriend or a girlfriend, but like it could be family, it could be your pet, it could be. Really? Yeah, you didn't know that. It's not only for couples. I didn't know that. Yeah, like if you're like by yourself and single and you love your dog, like you get your dog like a chocolate cover. Dylan would probably give his dog like a meal because he doesn't feed his dog. Yeah. Go fetch. And like the mean part is that like I throw it in the grass and we can't find it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, but anyways, long story short, how oh, do you feel about Valentine's um, Day? Um, Valentine's Day, I thought it was for couples. I mean, like, I mean, I, I thought it was for, like, couples and significant others and, like, family, yeah. basically. Like, Christmas, but, like, more But you don't have to get gifts, necessarily. You do have to get gifts. Yeah, not necessarily. Okay, like, what, chocolate? Yeah, that's a gift. Okay, gift yeah. Gift a piece of paper. Yeah, but, like, it's... A gift? Okay, 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 okay. Bye, God, bye, God. God. What are you doing with your life? <laughs> Valentine's Day for me is basically like Singles Awareness Day, you know? It's like when you get to Valentine's Day, you're like, whoa! Whoa! Look at all the single people, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is your idea of a romantic date? My idea of a romantic date? Um, I don't know. It's gonna be something like simple. Like, you don't have to go all out and like do anything. Like, I guess, I don't know, just like go eat dinner and then like come home and watch movies. You don't gotta go out and party and do- I mean, you can go out and party, but it's mostly like just hanging out with the person you love. Um, um, a romantic date would be, would be anything around food. Um, you guys come, come over to like, wait. Okay, like you're at like a house, someone's house, I don't know whose house, and there's movies, Old movies, mainly Sandra Bullock movies, maybe like all of the Sandra Bullock collection, um, every single one. New York pizza and wings and breadsticks from Little Caesars. And also you have cookies and lots of candy and lots of cookies and cake and whatever else there is. And you watch Sandra Bullock movies all day. And another good movie date, like date would not be the movies because you can't talk in the movies. I mean, I get it if it's like someone you've been with for a while, but like for a first date idea, like that's like a horrible idea. That's just terrible. Like whoever thought of that, like. What is your ideal pro proposal? Oh. Well, I don't want to get married, but I'm going to put some ideas out there for y'all. Um, maybe like get a pizza and arrange the toppings and like, what is so funny? <laughs> that is a cute idea. I just thinking. Maybe like a really big pizza. Maybe, maybe, okay, this is a big idea. Like get a big, whole bunch of plates and make different pizzas like the W, will you marry me in different pizzas and the question mark, you know what I'm saying? And put it on different plates and invite your friends over and everyone holds up a plate. Will you marry me? Insert name here. I think that's cute. Cause I like pizza. So why not propose with pizza? Stop laughing at me. <laughs> Another way maybe is to invite Sandra Bullock over and have her ask me and then just say like from insert name here. And I'll say yes to her, but I don't know about like the person. So that's my ideal proposal. So nice, nice. What, is, what does love mean? Love mean, what does love mean? Okay, love mean like you, I don't know, that's kind of hard to explain. No matter what, and you love spending time with, and you love being around the person and you just, 
you just enjoy everything about that person and that's what makes you love them. Love! I, I don't know even how to pronounce that. Love. Love. Okay, go ahead. On a more serious note though, love is like being excited to see someone or like waking up and you think about them and going to sleep and you think about them, like food. <laughs> that would be me. Um, and like, 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 like you're just comfortable with them. It's like your mom or your dad. People say that you're more attracted to people who remind you of your mom or dad. Like, that's a fact. From like Wikipedia or something. I don't know, somewhere, but it's somewhere. <laughs> so yeah, like, yeah, just like someone like you're comfortable with and like you can chill with and you can like lay there with them and you're just like, I like laying with you or like, I just like sitting with you and like watching Barbie life in the dream house or you're lying April, I don't know, so, yeah. Roses are, okay, people would say chocolate, but roses are so more romantic, I You can't just do roses by themselves, actually, you kind of need both. It sets like the mood, like, you know, like roses are like something that's like really sweet and everybody likes and they're beautiful. But then chocolate's also like, it's like, it's not like the candy of love or something like that. I just make that up for roses. I feel like I made that up, but like, I don't know, chocolate's like sometimes like, you know, like chocolate dipped strawberries, like that's something that's like romantic, I guess. So yeah, you need both. You can't pick either one. Chocolates or roses? Roses. Um, what is love? <laughs> what is the talking stage? The talking stage is in a relationship is probably the stage before they start dating. So it's like where they're still getting to know each other and stuff like that and like they're talking. So like they're hanging out and stuff like that but they're not doing anything like serious. They're just talking and getting to know each other better before they move forward from that stage to their next part in relationship? Um, I don't like chocolate, so probably roses and white chocolate. I love white chocolate. <laughs> After how many dates is it official? I don't think you can set it to a specific amount of days. I think it has to be like when it feels right, that's when that's when you guys should technically like say you guys are official. Like, I don't feel like you should base it on the number of days because that's just like a number. Like, if I'm talking to a person, if you're talking to somebody, for example, for like two months, I mean, yeah, you might know somewhat about them, but you still might not know everything about them. So, like, you still have stuff to learn about them. So, I feel like you can't always base it on days. Um, I watched this movie once where it was like after 10 dates, it's official. But I don't think there's a number either. Like, I don't think there should be a number. I feel like it's like okay if it's not. Like some people it's like they date after like years and some people they date after like months. So I don't know, I feel like you do you. Do whatever you want. Some people like date while they're in the talking stage. Like they're dating still. Like they're talking but they're like dating. Like it's like they're talking but they're like don't talk to him like that's mine. But they're not dating, so. It's a coincidence. The talking stage is basically where like, you have a crush on someone and they have a crush on you too. So it's like, so it's like you guys start talking and it's like, hey, I like you. And they're like, hey, I like you too. So then you guys just talk. Like, it's like dating without the title of a boyfriend or girlfriend. That's literally what it is. Like, like you can go out and pull dates with this person and this person will still be like, no, we're not dating. Well, we're just talking. Or like a girl is like, oh my gosh, get over there. Uh, no, I talk to that guy, like we talk. And it's like, oh, I'm so sorry, girl. I did not know, like, I didn't know y'all talk. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, no, who closes the videos? I do. Yeah, take it down a few notches. I don't know who you think you are. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We had so much fun filming it. Like, if you guys like videos like this, please comment below because we enjoyed doing it. Give us a thumbs up. Yeah. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Give us a thumb up if you didn't like the video. <laughs>
Please share this video, comment video, would you like to see us do? And have a wonderful, I hope you guys had a wonderful Valentine's Day. Yes. Because this video is going to be posted fun. later. Uh, uh, be, be safe. safe. I hope you guys like the like, subscribe and all the usual. Get us to 300 subscribers. If you have not noticed, we're on a new goal now. So get us to 300. So yeah, we will see you guys next week. Love you. Bye. And bye. Yeah.